everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Streaming with Swadhin. And this is the first animation movie that I am reviewing in my channel. And the name of this movie is Spider-Man Across the World, Spider-Verse. If you liked this video, do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. You can follow. Uh, you can also uh, follow me on my social network pages like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links for these will be given uh, in the description box. I know that I'm a little late for this uh, review, and this movie is already out uh, for quite some time now. But I still made this video anyway. This is a sequel of. 2018 movie Spider-Man Into the Verse. This movie is directed by Joachim Dosh Santosh Kempa, Justin K. Thompson, while the previous part was directed by Bob Parashat, Peter Ramsey, and Rodney Rotman. This part is written by uh, Phil Lord and uh, Christopher Miller and Dave Callahan, while the previous part was written by Phil Lord and Rodney Rotman. I think both the movie uh, uh, is visually and absolutely stunning and heartbreaking. This movie has uh, has some genuinely funny and hilarious moments, and the movie is full of surprise and has a great sense of nostalgia more than one ways. I like the entire drama created with the parents-child uh, relationship. The parents was really having a difficult time to figure out how to deal with the teenage. Uh, a child who is not exactly a child and not an adult, uh, if, which I thought was a very interesting aspect of this uh, story. Every individual who have passed through that space can understand uh, and uh, the complexity and the dynamics of that phase. And I thought that in a part I really liked it, but uh, it was a little overdone as well and there's some nice quiet conversation with Miller and his mother which I enjoyed but I also felt that they have overdid and stretched those parts a little bit more than needed. The movie starts with uh, Gwen Stacy and her relationship with her father and then the entire movie there was nothing about her and her father and then towards the end there were some scenes so I felt that instead of stretching Milo and uh, his parents uh, relationship they could have spent some more time with uh, Gwen Stacy and her father which uh, uh, was shown in the start of the movie and then to, uh, throughout the movie, there was uh, absolutely uh, nothing about that at all. To, throughout, there was lots of version of Spider-Man and uh, the TV series that I used to see uh, during the child uh, as child. Even they brought those version of Spider-Man. It was quite crazy, and uh, the way multi was portrayed in this movie, there are different Spider-Man coming from different dimensions, and I also liked uh, the. The, uh, the antagonist of this movie spot there are some great uh, visual effect used uh, for this character and uh, I thought the spot was really a brilliant uh, uh, idea and the visual effect used uh, for the spot was quite amazing this is definitely one of the best animation movie I have ever seen and vis the visual effect and the animation is absolutely heartbreaking. They will uh, release the third and the final part of this uh, trilogy next year and I am really looking forward uh, for that part as well. This movie uh, suddenly ended with uh, to be continued uh, 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 written on it like TV series and I'm not sure how to exactly feel about the ending but that is how they ended the movie. Overall I re really liked uh, this part a lot. I love to see what uh, they show in the next part. 
but it is only fair to make the final impression after watching the final part and i have a huge expectation from the final part my rating for this movie is 9 out of 10 and do write down in the comment section that what do you think about this movie and how much would you rate for this movie thank you for watching this video be safe take care and peace